Welcome in, guys. Jack Angelucci here on Hearst Athletics for FaceTime Friday, week number two, uh, talking to some of our administrators in the athletic department. Today, I am joined by Stacey Gaudet, Associate Athletic Director and Senior Women Administrator, Will O'Leary, Assistant Athletic Director for Marketing and Promotions, and Andy Simon Wambach, Assistant Athletic Director for Athletic Training Services and athletic finance. Uh, guys, thank you, first of all, for, for joining us. Um, you know, I, I took a bit of a hiatus, but it's good to be back on campus and um, uh, talking to you guys. So thank you for coming on. Thanks for having us, Jack. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Jack. Um, so first question, uh, Andy, we'll start this one off with you. Um, what does it mean to have students back on campus, especially for you on the AT side of things, too? Yeah, you know, it's really exciting. Um, we were able to help with move-in this year uh, with the temperature screen. All the athletic trainers were involved with that, and and we were all talking afterwards. And you know, to have everyone leave so abruptly in March was you know tough for everyone on staff and tough for the students. And all the planning that's gone into it, and all the meetings and the changing in plans that have happened over the summer, it was really exciting to see families and see students and have them excited to be here. Um, so, you know, it, it means a lot to us. We all choose to work in college athletics and work with college students. So um, just glad to have that part of our jobs back. That's the part that I enjoy the most. Yeah, Will, if you want to add on to that, what, what, how do you feel about students being back finally after this obviously extended break? Yeah, of course. Um, so it's it it's feel it feels like it's already been like two months since we've had students back, but it's only been a couple of days. Um, but uh, it, it's it's a breath of fresh air. I mean, we've we've worked a, we've worked really hard to get to where we are right now, and I think to kind of see students uh, start moving back on campus within the past couple of weeks, and then everyone started to move back in this past weekend. It was really cool, and even for myself and um Ali Ali Brace our director of club sports we were both part of like the welcome week for freshmen and we got to meet some of our new uh incoming like some members of our incoming class and that was really cool too and neither of us have ever really been part of it and we've already like I think we've made a like a good impact so far and it's been really good to see like students here to get things back to normal and obviously as Andy said we're here to serve you guys and then Stacey used to close it off you talk about kind of um, what your how you feel about kind of getting back to as close to normal as we possibly can right now with, with students getting back on campus. I, let, I mean, I think the same thing as Andy and Will. I just it's really nice to have people back on campus. Campus has been so quiet for so long, so we've been waiting for the students to come back. I mean, it's just nice to get back into a routine. It's not going to be a routine that we've ever had before, so it's a new normal routine. But just to see people on campus and have a chance to interact with the students, not through Zoom or Teams, has been amazing. So we're just we're real excited to have everybody back on campus. And then turn it right around, Stacy. I'll, I'll go to you on this one first. Um, so with some old faces and new places and some new hires as well, what kind of uh, energy does that bring to the athletic department as a whole? Um, heading into a year where you know a lot of things are. Um, still up in the air. Uh, what kind of is the energy right now uh, around the department? Well, it's funny because I was talking with Brad Davis, the athletic director, and I said, you know, without uh, COVID happening, I feel like we have like the best staff. I was like, we're ready for anything. We have the best staff ever. And we still do. It's just that it's going to be a lot different now with the pandemic going on. But I feel like the energy is really high. We have people in new positions. Um, everyone's excited about being back on campus, which is something that you normally wouldn't do. You normally wouldn't be like, oh, can't wait to be back, you know, but now everyone's like, wow, the students are back. It's so exciting. So I think that that is something that's going to be really good for this whole year. We have a lot of people in positions to make the experience for the student athletes even better. And from our part, that's what we want to have. We want them to have the best experience they can. And I'm excited about the people that are in different places now that can really make that happen. Yeah, uh, Will, if you want to add on to that, what have you seen kind of uh, the changes if that's brought in a different different energy to the apartment? Yeah, so with with obviously like new hires, um, not even just administratively, but through like our graduate assistants and new assistants and uh, head coaches and such. Um, it's I think everyone's like this fall is going to be something that no one's ever seen before and everyone's willing to adapt to different things, whether it's kind of do like whether it's running other programs or helping out a new uh, like at a welcome week um, or helping the rec center, which I just came back from and to help clean and uh, make sure everything's good. Because obviously the, the rec center is new for us. Um, it takes a village to make it work. And it's been awesome to see everyone 
even outside of athletics, like in student life, for example, coming together and kind of making sure we're all on the same page and to provide the best experience for our students as much as possible. Andy, anything to add on to that? Yeah, I mean, I, I like the new faces part of it. You know, every year when we bring in new staff and it brings new ideas to the table, you know, just in athletic training alone, um, you know, we kind of hit all the corners of the country. We got a new GA who's from California, when we went to school in Florida, uh, Wisconsin and, and New York. You know, we're kind of all over the map and everyone brings new ideas. And that's across the different departments with the, the new hires and stuff. And so I think that's been really uh, fun to get to know people and have different ideas on how to make Merciers better. So I, I like the new faces component of it too, just bringing the new ideas. All right, so one more uh, serious question before we get into the fun stuff, the rapid fire stuff at the end. Um, Will, we'll start with you for this one. What is the best advice that you can give uh, to students returning uh, as they try to kind of navigate their way through the situation we find ourselves in right now and trying to adjust to all these new protocols that have been put in place? Yeah, so it, um, it's a great question. I'd, I'd say just have an open mind to a lot of things. I mean, this is new for everyone. And I mean, like, even like with the rec center, I just keep going back to that. because that's like one of the things on the top of my head, like, I mean, there may be changes within like a certain amount of time. Cause I mean, it's a test room, not test room, but like it's the first week we've had students back. Um, obviously with the masks and being a mandate for everyone to wear one, whether it's outside, inside, whatever it is. I know it's tough. And I mean, I don't think any of us want to, else want to wear a mask, but we also want to make sure everyone's safe. Um, and just, just take it one day at a time. And I mean, Mercerius is a very strong, tight knit community. And even the first couple of days that from what I've seen, everyone's bought into a lot of the different policies and just remember to like be open to change as, as the year progresses. Andy, what would you uh, have uh, some advice to give to the students? Yeah, I think uh, just kind of echoing what Will said about flexibility. You know, everyone's doing things uh, as we go um, to make things better, and, and it might not be perfect right away, um, but the staff has done a lot of planning in place and a lot of putting a lot of safeguards. Um, so if we can get buy-in from the students, I think we're in a good position to stay here, and we, you know, we don't have to go home uh, early if we can follow the safety protocols and, and be flexible with stuff. Um, it's not going to be what it was last year, but it's still going to be a great experience uh, for the students if they can keep an open mind and be flexible. And Stacy, what, what do you have to offer to the students in terms of advice for this, this uh, new situation we find ourselves in? I think the key word that both Andy and Will use is being flexible, not just with some of the physical things you need to do, but flexible with just, you know, keeping an open mind. You know, like Andy said, try to, we, we spent all summer trying to get things set up for the students. Some change may still need to happen, but I mean, we're we're ready to go. And I think just having an open mind about it. And the second part I would say is please read your emails because you get a lot of them, but we everything's in your email. <laughs> oh yeah. Listen, and listen to your coaches too. <laughs> yeah, no, there's been a lot. The email definitely when I'm waking up, definitely blowing up a lot more than normal. So the email is definitely an important thing to check. Um, especially when well, in high school I never even used email at all practically. So it, coming in for a lot of freshmen, that's my advice too. Check your email daily because you'll learn the hard way if you don't and you'll mess something very important. So turning to our rapid fire section, um, first question, Annie will put you on the spot right here. Who is your favorite professional sports team? Uh, born and raised in Wisconsin. Uh, so I would say that it changes by season. Right now, we got the Brewers and the Bucks in season. Bucks kind of, you know, didn't do great in their first playoff game, but they'll bounce back. And then we get into the fall, Green Bay Packers. So it's it's a way of life in Wisconsin. Okay, Stacy, who who's what's your diehard team? Any team from New England. <laughs> so the Sox, the Patriots, the Bruins. That's my those are my teams. <laughs> Will? Well, just like Stacy, any team from New England, Patriots, Bruins, Red Sox, Celtics, Revolution. Got to give a shout out to my MLS team right there, too. But yeah, all teams from New England. All right. OK. Uh, I mean, I'm a Bills fan, so I'm not going to bother talking about this. <laughs> Patriots, Bills thing. So we'll just move on. Um, Stacy, what is your favorite dining option on campus? Uh, the Laker Inn. Every day. I, every day. I get the same thing every day. Laker Inn. It's the best on campus. Uh, Will? I'd say the Grotto uh, lunchtime. It's, it's they have a lot of different options out there, and buffets are always the best thing to do. And 
mean, there's salvers, I think one of the best in the state that I've ever been to. I think I think the grotto, but I'm going to go breakfast. Uh, you know, they got the omelets and all the hot stations and everything you want for breakfast. I like that one there. I, I like I like that call with the breakfast specifically. I agree. I agree. Um, so, Will, what, where is your go-to outdoor spot in the city of Erie to kind of just, I don't know, enjoy the, the scenery and kind of get a breath of fresh air? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I've been down to Prescott a lot just to, like, kind of go for walks and been, went to the beach a couple times. Um, when the Sea Wolves are in season, I'll go to a couple of their games, um, like, especially on, like, a nice summer day when it's not too hot, just kind of enjoy some baseball and and it's really like a lot of cool spots around here. And it's a go to. Um, down by the water, you know, whether that's Presque Isle or uh, one of the yacht clubs or just where the tower is with uh, the restaurants down on the water, down by the, the end of State Street there. Stacy? Uh, I would say down by the water, but I would also throw the gorge in there. I like going to the gorge. There's water there too. It's fun. It's nice, something to do, and it's quiet. All right, so one last one before we'll let you guys go. Um, Andy, we'll start with you on this one. What is your favorite Mercyhurst memory so far? Um, you know, I have quite a few. I've been here, this is my eighth year now, and my first year women's hockey went to the Frozen Four, um, you know, beat Ohio State, and that's where I came from as part of that season. So um, that's good. Men's basketball winning a conference championship uh, in, like, my third year here. So a lot of the winning – um, and then I think my bias athletic training wise, seeing athletes come back from injury. Um, there's been a whole bunch over my career. There's some now I was just down with some. Um, when they come back after a surgery or a major injury, that's always a, a favorite memory. Yeah, very cool. Very cool when people can get over that hump and get back to performing at an elite level. Um, Stacy, what is your favorite Mercier's memory? I would say like Andy, there's so there's so many. I mean, and most of them are revolve around, you know, the championships like basketball or going with men's soccer to regionals and those kind of things. I outside of athletics, I think the my favorite one was when uh, Mercyhurst built the house. They did a Habitat for Humanity house and they call it the house that Hearst built and every team and other uh, play, people around the community all pitched in to build this house for humanity. It was great for the Habitat for Humanity. It was awesome. And Will I know uh, it's so, ten as long as, as long, but what's the favorite memory? So um, I'd probably sorry. I guess uh, my first one, like my first memory that I had, and it's probably so on. I'm saying my my top favorite is uh, when baseball won in 18 innings against Bloomsburg in uh, in Millersville. Uh, that was one of the hottest days I've ever attended, and it was one of the craziest games I've ever watched here. Um, and then I'd also have to say women's hockey went to the CHAs last year in overtime. That was that was awesome to be a part of and witness and everything. So those two memories for sure. Yeah, really some great ones there. And uh, hopefully we'll be making a couple more memories once we get back to playing sports in the future. I want to thank you guys uh, for coming on and joining me on FaceTime Friday. Uh, make sure you catch FaceTime Friday every Friday on HurstAthletics.com and on our social media. Jack Angelucci signing off. And go Lakers.